Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another DC Universe Online video. Today I'm going to be showing you the Blue Misty Stars Aura that you get from the new Wondrous Time Capsule, which can be located when you kill an enemy, a time capsule will drop for you. Um, I don't have one in my inventory, so I can just go to the marketplace and just show you what it looks like. If you don't know what a time capsule is, then don't even open them, but here's a uh, Wondrous Time Capsule, that's what it looks like, and uh, yeah, so let me go to my styles real quick, see if it loads up, and I will equip the aura and show you what it looks like. <clears throat> Probably could have prepared better by opening this up before I started recording, but that's okay. Oh, so many styles to load up, alright, here we go. Go to Auras, go to the Blue Misty Stars, equip it. And as you can see, it will go down to Dark like that, because this is a Battle Reactive Aura, which means if you're in combat, the aura will look different. So as you can see, it's a pretty bright bluish, dark bluish kind of aura with stars coming down. Um, you can change the colors of the stars. So if I go to Style real quick, once again, <coughs> go over to Colors once it loads. So it is black, so I believe it is this color. I can make it red, let's say. And as you can see, now I have red stars, just like that. And a red vest to go along with those red stars. <laughs> but if I go to combat real quick, as you can see, it is a dark whatever aura. And if I attack, it'll become a faster moving, brighter bluish. Or like the brighter blue part of the default aura just becomes more present when you're in combat. I don't know if the stars are changing. It looks like there are a little bit more stars. And as you can see, the stars leave a trail when you're running. So let me see what it looks like when I'm out of combat. So yeah, the stars, it looks like you get a little bit more stars, maybe? Is that even a thing? It does look like you would get a little bit more stars, but that's the uh, whole aura. You can change the color of it, which is really cool. This might be the only aura that you can change in the game. I'm actually not positive about that, but this is the first one that I've changed the color on an aura. <clears throat> I mean, you can change the firework aura, so no, it's not the first, but... Uh, don't mind what I said. Let's go to the collections and show you how to collect this aura. Because I cannot find any collections on the internet how to get this aura, so I had to... <clears throat> surf the broker for it. So we'll go to Drowned Earth... Drowned Earth Themyscira. I can't say any of these names, I'm sorry. Gonna butcher them all. So the first one is Captain Gaul's Tentacle Arm, Fleet Admiral Tide's Telekinesis, Den Denizens of the Blood Reef, Transforming Waters, Key to the Graveyard of Gods, Poseidon's Vision Quest, Guardian Trigris, Trigris, something, Death Kraken's Touch, Asteria's Warning, Asteria's Warning, I, dude, I don't know how to say it, Commander. Dude, come on. Drogue's Bone Crown? Clarion of Orion and Barge of the Dead Gods. So Barge of the Dead Gods was really expensive for me. And this one was really expensive for me. A serious warning. I'm probably not saying that right, but I don't care. Got the collection. So these are all 12 of the collections that you need. This one's expensive, and this one is also expensive. Um, yeah. Uh, the DPS School will be uploaded soon. I just got to record it. I don't have any good editing software, so it's just going to be like me talking to you and showing you how to DPS, I guess. But that's the uh, new aura. Have a good one. 